and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica Smith. I'm a certified family life educator, homeschooling mom of four boys, and a homeschool graduate myself. Today, we're gonna talk about the subject that all mamas wanna talk about, housework and chores. Now, I know this may not be a topic you want to talk about, but it's one that we all need to talk about. I'm gonna share my philosophy on housework and that is that it shouldn't be all up to mo the mom. Housework and chores should be the responsibility of the whole family because the whole family lives in the house and the whole family messes it up. As well as if you are educating at home, children are home most of the day and they are messing it up. So the question is how can we make housework more manageable and divide the responsibility to other members of the family as well as not make it a stressful thing because learning is messy. Our houses are going to be messy because we are living in them and we are learning. And like I said, learning is a messy process. So we don't want to make it too stressful of a thing for our kids, but we also want to keep the house orderly. I do have a system that has worked well in our family and that's what I'm gonna share with you today. And it may not work well in your family, but you can take some of the principles and apply them in your own way using your own methods. So here is how it works. My method is a compilation of a few books that I've read. Simply Clean, The Parenting Breakthrough, and a really old housekeeping book that my mom gave me. So first I put together a cleaning caddy. I like to use Force of Nature Cleaner because it's an all-in-one cleaner. So I also stock a scraper, microfiber cloths for dusting, windows, and multi-purpose cleaner, and a mop cloth. I keep laminated cleaning lists with the caddy so the kids can grab them when they go to clean. My boys need a step-by-step -step and reminders. They are working on how to just notice what needs to be done. And when they're done cleaning a room, I have them look around and I say, okay, I want you to notice. Notice what's on the floor, notice what's on the couch. I want you to notice everything or even pretend you're me, pretend you're mommy and you're looking around the room and what would you see that needs to be put away or maybe done in a better way. To begin this process, go with your children to every room of the house. Look around and write down everything that needs to be done to clean that room. From dusting, mopping floors, vacuuming the rug, washing windows, and things that are more seasonal like washing the curtains or cleaning the couch. Help your children notice the things that get dirty or need to be organized. Assign each of those tasks as either daily, weekly, or seasonal. Make a list for each room of the daily and weekly tasks. I do daily on one side, weekly on the other, and then I compile all the seasonal tasks onto one list, and then I laminate them and keep them with the cleaning caddy. So every day, we do all the daily tasks on the list plus one weekly. For example, bathrooms are on Monday, dusting on Tuesday, vacuuming on Wednesday, mopping on Thursday, windows on Friday, and Saturday is a catch-up day for anything that didn't get done during the week. And this incentivizes my children to get the weekly tasks done during the week so that we have Saturday to play. We all clean bathrooms together. Each boy has a few tasks that he does for all the bathrooms. For example, Boy one changes the hand towel, restocks toilet paper, tidies up the bathroom. Boy two sprays and wipes the mirror, sprays the counter and toilet and takes out trash. Then boy three goes through and wipes the countertop and cleans the toilets. And the kids have daily habits that they need to do every day, which includes making their bed, bringing down their dirty laundry and taking their dishes to sink after every meal. My daily habits are to clean off the counters, do a load of laundry and a load or a few loads of dishes. And the king of the day helps me with these tasks. The king of the day is something that we started doing a few years ago. So as the children have gotten older, they get more responsibilities. They also get more privileges. So we invented king of the day for this purpose. They get to choose what they watch for screen time and what we listen to in the car. But they also help me fold laundry, feed the pet, and do a load of dishes. I'd like them to help with meal preparation, but it doesn't happen as much as I'd like to. Someday, someday they're going to be in charge of planning and preparing one meal by themselves each week, and that's when it's their day. 
So the actual tasks of this king of the day depend on the age of the child. Youngest kids simply match socks or fold washcloths and then put away clean utensils, which is a wonderful sorting activity. And then these tasks work up in complexity as the child masters each task. Many of you are probably wondering, how will I get my children motivated to do housework and chores? Well, my husband and I have a regular family home evening lesson where we talk about the benefits of living in a home and have the kids list out all the nice things that come with living in a home and having a family and the things that daddy and I do to keep the house going. Then we list out all the things that need to be done in a house to keep it going. So we do that and just talk about the importance of being in a family and the duties that come with it. We do not give out rewards for doing their housework. We do not tie allowance to housework and chores. However, we do have screen time at the end of the day after we've done our duty to ourselves and our family. And my husband and I try to be an example of that. We don't sit down and watch anything until we have done our chores and duties for the day. And that is my method for keeping our house clean and orderly, but also making a good place to live and learn. As my wise friend noted, a woman can quickly become a tyrant in her home when the house becomes more important than the people in it. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions for me about this method, leave them in the comments section.